Okay, welcome back. Uh, we are doing the second clone stamp tutorial, which is Sea Star on the Beach. Okay, uh, you are going to be changing this graphic so that there are more than one Sea Star. Okay, using cut and paste, the clone stamp tool, transform them in layers. So we just learned clone stamp. You're going to be learning a few new things. Cut and paste, which is pretty straightforward. Transform, which is pretty straightforward. And layers, which we talked about in class. We talked about when we did this. We're going to be creating this guy um, a little further in the background. Okay, let's take a look at how to do this. If you're paying very close attention, you'll also notice that I've added a little graphic here, which will take you to the tutorials, which is what I'm watching. So hopefully, hopefully you figure that part out. All right, let's uh, let's get on it here. So first thing I need to do is I need to click on this image here, and there's the bigger image. Now it's not super high um, resolution, but it'll do for what we need. I drag that down on Photoshop. It's going to open up the file. Beautiful. Here we go. <coughs> uh, much like what we did previously, we're going to be using the clone stamp tool, which is this guy here. Again, be sure that you're not on the pattern stamp. We want clone stamp, so make sure of that. Take a quick look at your settings here and make sure that yours match mine. Um, if, you're, uh, if you've changed your workspace, set it back to reset essentials so that we are working on the same uh, interface. And when I do things, you'll find them in the same spot. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a layer. Now, we talked about layers in class. Um, there, we're going to consider a layer much like uh, a transparency on, a, on an overhead projector. So I'm going to create a new layer at the bottom of my layers palette, which is here. Okay, I can do this, and I can uh, drag this guy here, or sorry, click this guy here, and it's going to create a new layer. I'm going to be drawing uh, the C star onto this layer, so make sure that layer 1 is active. And in fact, let's name this. C star 2. little piece of trivia, it's not called a starfish because it's not a fish, it's called a sea star. There you go. We learned two things today. All right, so we need to, to take our uh, clone stamp. And what I want to do is I'm going I'm to use my square brackets to make my brush a little bit bigger. And I want to I select this. But the problem is that it's on a separate layer. It's on this layer here. And I'm working up here in the sea star layer. What I need to do is tell Photoshop that I want to be sampling not only on the current layer, but on all layers below. So I'm going to change this here from current layer to current and below. And now it's going to look at this and anything below it. So when I hold option, like I did previously, and I say I want to pick up this area, it's going to look not only at the layer that I'm on, but the layer below it. So I can now draw out this C star. And I've dragged it pretty nicely to its own layer. Now, if we turn this layer off here, you'll see we've picked up a bit more than we need, right? Like, I kind of got some extra. I want to make sure that I don't have, I haven't cut anything off. Like, I want to make sure I get all of that shadow there, all of this shadow. Those are all important details for this to look realistic. But I don't need this here. I don't need that area. And I don't kind of need any here. i got to be careful with this, this shadow. But, you know, that's easy enough to do. So let's go to here. This is the eraser tool. You can hit E on your keyboard to get the shortcut or you can just select the tool, okay, and make sure that you're not using any of these weird, we just want an eraser tool, okay, and make sure your brush is not too big, if your brush is huge like this, okay, you probably don't want that, that's not going to give you the detail you want, you want a nice small brush in around the sort of 10 to 10 pixel area, right, so I'm going to make that 10, that'll do, all right, I'm going to just erase away, kind of carefully erase away what I don't need here, okay, and make sure that you're on the C star layer, make sure you're not trying to erase something down here, uh, you don't have to get really, really close. You know, you don't have to be right in here. You can if you want to. If you wanted to, I can make this a really soft edge brush like this. Uh, and that'll give me a little bit of a feather on those edges. Okay, it'll sort of soften those edges. But I'm just going to sort of get in and kind of clean up just that little extra bit that I don't need. Okay, all of this I'm going to pick up. Okay. There we go. And what you'll see is when I turn this back on, if I move this, if I've missed any bits, you'll be able to see them, right? And that's actually better. I can actually do this now by going to my eraser tool and just erase out any extra stuff that shouldn't be there. It's hard to see when it's on transparency, but when you get it on this blue here, you can sort of pick up anything that's sort of extra. <coughs> Sorry, I'm moving between tools using keyboard shortcuts. I hit V to go to my move tool. And then back to S for my rubber stamp, and then V. Okay, if I'm using E, it's my eraser. Okay, so I'm just gonna V, move that over here. 
E erase up this sort of extra stuff here. V erase. And sometimes, see those clouds? That makes it a little tricky. So actually, if you move things, it makes it a bit easier to see. I can see that I've got a little extra just around here. I'm going to go in and clean that up. Now, that doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be on top of sand, so it won't make a big difference. When it's in front of sand, it looks pretty good. Now, the reason that we put this on a separate layer, Command-1 to go to 100%, the reason I want a separate layer is because I want to make this smaller. That looks like ginormous. If this is back here, it's like, what the hell? That thing is massive. Uh, it Because it's, you know, as things get smaller, as I said previously, the, uh, sorry, as they get further away, they get smaller, right? So that looks fine here, but if it's, you know, if it's back here, it just looks mammoth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to uh, make it a bit smaller. So a couple ways I can do this. I can do this here by going to the transform window, which is window transform there's no window transform why is there not a window transform well shut my mouth i'm just going to go command t okay i want to use the transform tool where is that why is that sorry i apologize for that it should be i thought there was a transform tool and i'm sure there is i just have lost it anyways uh, i you can do it also there's a couple ways i can go edit transform and i can scale it but the easier way is to just do this free transform which is command t okay Command T, and I get this thing here. Okay, and that means I can just drag it. Now I can squish it, which I don't really want to do. I want to hold Shift and make it so that it constrains at the same ratio, so that it gets smaller. And if I'm going to be putting it like way back here, then I need to make it like significantly smaller. I'm going to probably put it around here somewhere. And notice that, that your cursor changes depending on what you're doing here. So be careful. Like if I see that little thing here, that's that's a uh, different cursor. So that's going to move something that you probably don't want to move. So be aware of that, right? Don't, that's actually a rotation point, which means it's going to rotate around that point. That's not what you want to do. Okay, so put that back. Don't touch that. Okay, notice that that and this are two different icons. So be careful. Be cautious. Pay attention to what you're doing. All right, that looks a bit like about the right side. I can hit the little check mark here. I can hit check mark or I can hit return on my keyboard. And there, now I've made that, uh, you know, a smaller version. And because it's on its own layer, I can move it around. I can put it where I want. I can also duplicate this layer by dragging it from here down to the new, or I can just right click and say duplicate layer. And now I've got another one called C-Star 3. Okay, and I'm going to move that one over here. I'm going to put it back here and make it smaller. So Command T, drag that down a little bit. Okay, I can just double click in there. And there you go, and you got a couple of C-Stars. That is phenomenal. I can hit T and rotate that a bit. That looks a bit wonky. So, yeah, cool. When you're done that, file, save as, you're going to save both a PSD, so a Photoshop document, and a JPEG. I want you to have a JPEG as well. Okay, JPEG is going to get uploaded to your website. Uh, make sure you name it something intelligent like C Star or C Star 1 or Clone Stamp. Okay, don't name it something you're not going to find like blah, 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 blah. That is a complete waste of typing. Okay, try a name, C Star. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to save this. You are going to save this. You're going to upload it to your website. And you're done. Practice Photoshop. Practice what you just learned. Make sure you understand what these things are. Okay, don't just get don't just get through it. Don't just like do this and be like, all right, I, I get it. I did it. I sort of get it. Don't just get through it. Get it. Understand what you've done. Understand what these tools do. Practice with the tools. Don't waste your time. All right, that's it. I'm done.